Oh hey there. Are you terrified of After Effects but love the cool motion tracking? Well you're in luck, because today I'm going to teach you how to do it in Premiere in under three minutes. It's very simple. Oh yeah, roll that intro. What's up ladies and gents? Welcome back. Today we're doing motion tracking in Adobe Premiere. Now for the record, After Effects is the best option for this. However, if you don't want to use it or you're not comfortable with it, you can do this stuff in Adobe Premiere and it's actually pretty simple. Now since I've wasted so much time already, let's subtract that from the three minutes, run the timer at the top and get started. Let's go. Okay, so the first step is to import your footage. And once you have that on your timeline, you're gonna go up to the menu at the top, go to New, Legacy Title, and a pop-up window will open. What you're gonna to wanna to do here is type like a tiny little X over the reference point in your footage. In this case, I'm using my thumb as a reference point. After that, close the window and drag your new title onto the timeline. The next step is to go to your effects and under the position, create a new keyframe by clicking the little stopwatch right here. Then you're gonna track the footage forward five frames by holding shift and pushing the right arrow. What you're gonna to wanna to do here is check how much your reference point has moved and then move your little X by using the positioning coordinates X and Y up here. Go ahead and repeat this process for the duration of your clip. Once you've repeated the process enough times, you're gonna have something that looks like this. And after that, it's tracked. What you're gonna do now is go back into that legacy title by double clicking it and replace that little X with whatever desired text you have. Now the same concept applies to images. All you're gonna do is import your image, drag it onto the timeline, and then adjust the positioning according to your reference point. And boom! Now you've got motion tracking in Premiere. Once you've got the fundamentals down, you can go ahead and be creative with it. Add effects to the text, add transitions, do all that fun stuff, but you have the fundamentals. It's that simple. Anyway guys, if you found this helpful, crush that subscribe button, like this video, even share it with friends and family so we can go viral. No, I'm just kidding, it won't go viral. But you know, every like and subscription helps and I will catch you guys in the next one. See you later. What do I do with all this spare time now? <laughs>